The release of Hogwarts Legacy is fast approaching and we are slowly being bombarded with information about the game, which is looking absolutely massive. We got a deep dive into the room requirement and got a sneaky peek at what is hidden inside. The room itself was first mentioned in the Goblet of Fire, but we never got to actually see it until the Order of the Phoenix. The room only becomes visible to students at a time they truly need it, but we imagine it would be a lot easier to access in the game as opposed to the books and films. From the trailers we have seen, it looks like the room will be acting as a base of operations and a major storage unit for Hogwarts Legacy players. But what exactly is going on inside there? Early on in the game, the room will be rather small, offering a limited amount of storage space and moldability for the players to mess around with. As you progress through the game, you unlock more space in the room and have access to more features the room has to offer. This is kind of like how Animal Crossing lets you progress as you have more people come to your island. Customization will have a huge role to play in this. In this room, the whole game will transform into something out of The Sims rather than a typical Harry Potter style game. You will be able to summon a whole range of cosmetic items to customise the room. These include the likes of tables and chairs to some more Harry Potter style items like hippogriff statues or plates of moving cats on which were famously used later in the series by Professor Umbridge. Once items have been added to the room, they can be fully customised and have their size changed completely. You can both enlarge and shrink objects to meet your decorating requirements. Players can then discover useful items using a special tool that is seemingly found quite early in the game. This item will reveal any special traits on things that you found around the game. The player can then head over to the room requirements and upgrade the items and attach special trinkets to them. These additions will allow you to gain new skills like damage bonuses and more defence against certain enemy types. You will need to obtain these materials from the various beasts that roam around the grounds. And that's where the Vivarium comes in handy. If you head towards the back of the room requirements, you will find the Vivarium. If you've seen Fantastic Beast, you will know exactly what this is. It's essentially Newt's suitcase and when entered it gives you access to a sprawling green space that homes all sorts of Hogwarts Legacy's magical beasts. This will be the base for any creatures you have rescued from the wild or from poachers and it will allow you to take care of them. You can interact with them, pet them and feed them. Doing this will increase their happiness meter and will eventually reward the players with some crafting materials. You can fully customise the Vivarian as well with cosmetics like statues, wells, huts and plants, as well as items that can help your relationship with your animals like toy boxes and feeders. These will be unlocked throughout the game and can help you grow into a more powerful wizard. So that's all we know so far about the room requirements. It's looking like it's going to be a central hub and a very important part of Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy releases on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S on February 10th 2023 followed by a PS4 and Xbox One release on April 4th, and a Switch launch on July 25th. For more things Hogwarts Legacy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to GG Recon Gaming.